So we're gonna actually start coding. So we're gonna go with participant three first, just cause it's my first tab. And I'm gonna go back to my interview questions to remind myself about what, what I was really uh, asking. So I asked my participants to describe any experiences they've had that left a lasting impression on them related to their doctor nurse relationship with their colleagues. And so I asked the same question to each of these example nurses and they have uh, example responses, of course. And so um, I'm just gonna show you how that we can create some beginning nodes and we can begin to analyze our data. So um, you can either like pull words right out of your data and create a node. Um, and you can do that by either highlighting or right clicking. Um, but I'm just gonna create a node right away in this template over or in this um, pane right here. I'm gonna right click and I can click new node and then name it here or I can go into create and I can do the same thing here and I can name it this way. So there's three different ways. You can code right from your data, you can code in the working space, or you could code make a, making a note, I mean, right in this create function. So I'm gonna right click in this white working pane and click new node. And we're gonna create our first upper level node, which is gonna start categorizing um, our, the answers to our question. So this is really gonna represent the first interview question I asked. Um, and so I'm looking for different feelings and experiences of the nurses. So I'm going to write feelings experienced, and that's going to represent my question one. And so right now in vivo is, you know, it's demonstrating the node I created. And if I created more nodes right now, it would populate in alphabetic order. And if I wanted to change that, I could just right click in the same pane and click list view and then change it. And we could customize it, but I'm going to leave it in as, as alphabetic. And so we're going to go to our first interview participant um, that's in order, actually participant three. And I'm going to read through her response really quick. And it looks like that she has feelings of, uh, I'm going to say surprise right here. So of course, in real life, I spend a lot more time um, vigorously uh, analyzing my data. But for the purpose of this quick seminar or webinar, I'm going to, um, we're going to do this quickly. So I'm going to right click and I can click code again or the easiest way, I think, is to highlight, drag and drop. So it's actually going to take this whole statement. You can see the Ghostbuster sign. And I'm going to hover over my node, and I'm going to drop it. So see where it says sources and references? It's keeping track of what I put in there. And again, put in this code kind of just represents uh, a theme. And I'm uh, putting I, the data into that theme, and it's saving it for me. I could double click on it, and anything I put in there related to that theme will be here. Um, so I'm going to exit out of that, and then I'm actually going to click the back button. It works just like Word, so I'm going to undo, because actually I don't want to put my, my information there. I want to have a sub-node. So this, the feelings experienced, I want to be the upper-level node, and I'm going to have categories underneath of it. So I'm going to make a child node. So I'm going to right-click on the primary node and click New Node, and I'm going to write Sir Surprised, and it should populate right below. And you'll notice now that I have a minus mark here. So if it was plus, it means there's more information in there. So I'm going to click it. Here it is, surprised. And I'm, then, I'm going to then drag and drop in there. And you're going to see that it's keeping track one source, one reference in the, in the child node. Um, as I create more child nodes um, and look at more sources, I want to actually see in this parent node um, all the different resources and sources I've used. So I'm going to right click on my parent node. So you have to remember to do this um, either all at one time to all of your nodes or individually as you create them. But I'm going to click aggregate coding from child nodes. And it's going to keep track for me. So no matter what I put under, underneath of this as a child node, it's going to keep track of it up here in the source and the reference. So let's go to our next participant and see what they experience. So this is also a one year, 25 year old um, female nurse. And she too says that she. Um, was expecting to be more intimidated, but isn't. So we're going to call that surprise too, just for the sake of this webinar. I'm going to highlight, drag, and drop and put it right in surprised. Great. So we're going to go to the same question on the next participant. And reading that over quickly, it looks like this person too is surprised. Drag and drop. 